Hey everyone, it's John from IT Skills Academy. If you are a web developer and you use ZAMP to store your files locally, one of the things that you can do to remain productive is to auto start modules. And in this case, I mean Apache and MySQL. And what you will do in this case is to just open the ZAMP control panel and then head on to the config and check on the Apache and MySQL. And then you just click on save but wait a minute when you always do that this error will always appear so in this video i show you how you can be able to fix this error so that you always auto start uh, the main modules uh, that is apache and mysql when you are writing your web applications there is a very very simple uh, procedure of fixing this error so what I'll do is that I'll just come and close my uh, ZAMP control panel and then I want to restart uh, it. But this time loud, I want to restart it as an administrator. So I'll head on to uh, the uh, search and then I'll search it here. It should appear as uh, one of the best match. And in this case, instead of just left clicking it, I will right click it. I can right click this or I can also come and right click this. And then I'll come and run it as administrator. So I'll check this option. So of course, I'll get this message saying, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to change, uh, to make changes to your device? And in this case, I'll just come and say yes. Uh, so now the ZAMP control panel is open and now I can head on to the config and then I check on the Apache and MySQL modules and then I hit on save and that goes very well. So now it means the next time that I start uh, the ZAMP control panel, uh, the Apache and MySQL will be started automatically. And that's the simple fix of how you can solve the problem of not being able to start at the modules that is Apache and MySQL. Hope that fixes your problem. See you in the next one. Thank you.